What, Aaron, is a varial heel flip? Well, that's a good question. The secret the pros don't want you to know about. First try right here, Jamba Juice. Bada boom, bada bing. Mowgli, you got a varial heel? Does that make sense? That makes sense. My name's Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to do a varial heel flip. You might be asking yourself, what, Aaron, is a varial heel flip? Well, that's a good question. It's basically a combination of two tricks. The front side shove it, bada boom, bada bing. I guess I should even be more specific than that and I should call it the front side pop shove it. And a heel flip. Yes, the world's hardest trick in skateboarding combined with a front side shove it. I should stop calling it the world's hardest trick in skateboarding. You guys know it's not, just a joke. So the tricks you need to know before you get into the varial heel flip, I highly, highly recommend you pushing, you're riding your board around, ride it to school, ride it wherever you're going, just ride your board a lot, get very comfortable. Then get very comfortable ollies. Ollie up a curb, ollie down a curb. Ollie over your dog. If your dog is like, well, stay there so you can ollie over it. Actually, don't ollie over your dog, just don't, don't do that. Then learn the front side 180, back side 180, pop shove, front shove, and heel flip. If you learn all of those, I'm telling you this is gonna help you. You might, you might think I'm crazy, but I'm not. But the only two tricks, cause this trick is a combination of two tricks. It's the front side pop shove it and the heel flip. Let's go. Okay, so first things first, your foot position on this trick is, you know, I, I'm probably gonna very, very overly analyze this trick like I do with all heel flip tricks. And I'm gonna get some friends of mine to do some varial heel flips and I'm gonna look at their foot position as well to see the differences, the pluses and minuses of that. But for me, I like to put my foot about in the middle, maybe just a little bit forward from the middle. Like imagine these are my toes. I like to have my toes hanging off just a bit. And then my back foot, this is so important. It has to be like right back here in this back pocket. So, so, so key. Because with this trick, because it is a combination of the heel flip and the front side shove, you can kind of imagine your feet are kind of going like this. <laughs> in a way, in a way, kind of. But it's mostly this motion of your back foot right there, just going like that, getting the board to go like that. And then all you need to do with your front foot is just take it just a bit, just boom and it will cause that board to get that rotation just like that. Beautiful feeling, that rotation. And then once it flies around like that, you can catch it with your front foot and put it down. Man, there's so much to this trick, there, but there's like a, a vital like secret. This is one of those like the secret the pros don't want you to know about type of a thing, right? This one is so hard for me to explain by just explaining it. It almost has to be like a visual thing that you need to see. But you're standing on the board and your feet are in that position and then your upper body has to be like way in the back seat, back like that. It's so important because when you pop this trick, you need the board to flip and go up in front of you. If you don't do that, the board is going to be like just going way behind you and you're gonna miss it every time. These are some things that can go wrong as well. So you're gonna shove it like that, boom. You're gonna miss it really far away or you can be leaning back and pop it and do that heel flip and get it to go up in front of you and then it'll be right there for your front foot to catch and put it down. You can under rotate this, land primo is one thing that can go wrong. The front shove, you can under rotate that so it's not gonna go all the way around. Oftentimes you just don't get that pop and the flick good enough and then you just miss it and it doesn't come around the whole way. Once you get this trick down, it's really, really, really good one and I find that not a ton of people have this one extremely consistent, um, but it is a really, really fun trick. And I think it's like in the heel flip variation, the world of heel flip variations, it's like the next easiest one. This is, yeah, it is Daniel. Daniel's shaking his head, he says no. He's the heel flip champion. But I think it is because think of it like this. When you're doing a kick flip, you pop it and you flick this way, right? And then what's the next easiest trick for the kick flip? Combining a pop shove it and a kick flip. So the varial flip goes like that. Well, for a heel flip, you think, okay, 
Well, you could do a front shove and a kick flip, which is a hard flip, and the name itself, it's like, it's hard, that's hard. So when you're doing a front shove, the board is going away from your heel like that. So just a little bit of the heel will cause a varial heel. But if you were gonna do a pop shove and a heel flip, the board is turning in the same rotation way. This is like an inward heel flip, extremely difficult. So a varial heel flip is easier than an inward heel flip. No, Daniel thinks not. So a front pop shove, heel flip, varial heel flip, catch that front foot. Now I'm gonna do a ton. I'm gonna do it from every single angle and I'm gonna see if there's anything else. I don't think I've ever even personally made a tutorial on the varial heel flip. I think I had other people make them. So I'm kind of excited to see what I can discover by doing this trick uh, 300 different times and seeing what I can help handle for you guys. Because when I did the post on Instagram and I said, what trick do you guys want to learn? Tons of people were saying varial heel flip. And I was like, the people have spoken. I need to help the people learn how to varial heel flip. This is what I'm here for. This is what Braille is here for. This is the whole reason all of this exists and all the how many videos have we made at this point? 4,000 videos. All the 4,000 videos exist for one thing and one thing only, and that's to teach you, yes you, to learn how to ride a skateboard. So I hope you learn this trick, increase your rank in the Braille Army, and let's go! You guys ready? You want to do some varial heel flips? All right, let's go. A good practice step for this to build your confidence up, get your feet in that position, step off with your back foot, and just make it spin. Just get really good at that. And then all you need to do is bend that back knee to put that back knee on. Put the back foot on rather, not the knee. You don't want the knee to land on the board. Then all it is is a little knee bend and land. First try right here, Jamba Juice on the house. Yep, foot position just like I described. Lean back, bada boom. Bada bing. I actually love this trick. I love the way it feels. I love how it looks. It's easy to mess up. <laughs> I'll just leave that there. It's a perfect example of that lean back thing. I'm bending down in order to pop up, but my upper body is bending forward and I'm not staying straight, straight backed enough to lean back to keep it underneath me. And that's the difference. Let's see if I can show you like two good examples of the differences. So this one will be like me leaning forward. See that? Board shoots behind me. And this is the part I struggle with with all heel flip tricks in general. I'm gonna lean back, push the board forward. See that difference? I didn't land that one, but it was way closer, wasn't it? See if I can get a good one. Better. You notice the board still went a little bit behind me. I wanna get it to land in the same place or even a little bit forward. Notice that foot in that back pocket is so key. And then I do have it just above center. It's funny, when I bent down, I could feel I was leaning forward. I still landed it, but the board shot back. Try again, I'm gonna use this like crack as my baseline. Close, pretty close. Main key there is to keep the board underneath you, which I am. Pretty good, huh? I just really wanna make that point clear about how important it is to, to get in that back seat. That one might have not been like the best pop and flick in terms of having it rotate in the air, but it was quite straight and it did feel quite nice. Not bad, not bad. Another thing I wanna point out is you'll notice I can do it standing still. It's kind of a little bit harder for this trick, honestly. And then uh, once I get going, if you're having a hard time doing any trick with any amount of speed, that first step, ride your skateboard everywhere. So, so, so important. That's why it's so important. You get comfortable moving and then you just add the trick. It's fine. Oof, I'm sweating. There's another little thing I'm having a hard time with right at this second that I didn't talk about, which is great. I'm over rotating it this way. So it's going a little bit past front shove. So I'm gonna work on popping more straight down, less scoop forward. So I just get a better, just that way. Not perfect, not bad. All right, well, let's see what some of the other guys have. Let's see who's got a varial heel flip. 
Mowgli, you got a varial heel? Come do a varial heel. Dang, I was working. You see, like, hey, everyone, we've been putting work in for all your orders, so please be nice to me. I want your quick explanation on how to do this trick to right. see if it varies at all from mine. He wasn't here, didn't hear my variation. I've been sitting down. How do you do it though? Explain it. When I do a varial heel flip? Not what you think. No, no. What you know. No, what, what I think as I'm doing it. Kind of have like this in the pocket, not uh, the pocket, but like right here, like barely having your feet on. Like, so what I feel is like foot right here, like this finger, and then the big toe are the ones that I feel the most on the board. And it just does, like, does the front shove motion. Is the back foot the same, exact same as a front shove? No, front shove's more up here. You see how front shove's like, almost covering to the top right here okay. before it starts turning. Very good, I'll go more under. That's a good little piece of advice. That might be pro tip number two. I might even learn how to do this trick during this tutorial. Okay, go ahead. So coming to the heel flip, yeah. I have the heel almost hanging out a lot. No, for real? Yeah, Okay. because it's not mainly about the heel. It's, it's both the, the front shove part of it and the heel that go out. So like, and it, it's really uncomfortable for a lot of people probably, but it works for me because I barely have my foot there and then my heels hanging out. I know that's like a lot to balance and I don't expect anybody to do it my way. Obviously this is how I feel comfortable doing it. So whenever I front shove, the front shove part, I, I do it hard and then because there's not a lot of the heel in there, it yeah. barely flicks it and it just flips perfect. And That's the thing I love about tutorials. Every person might have their own little tweak on it, but I want to get all the different things so you guys can figure out what is the best way for you to do it. Upper body, lean back, forward, straight, anything. I kind of just do my best to stay centered and like watch the board. Cause like coming back to the heel part, I kind of kick it forward so I could see the front shove and the heel come in front. And like, I, I've tried to learn like where I jump back and kick it back, but that, cause I can't see that. See, that's the same thing that I was pointing out. If you can get the board to go forward, that's the best. So that's why the front shove part, you see when I explained that I barely have my feet on there, it's so it could kick it forward. Like the heels like hanging off a lot. So I could see everything when I like bury a heel. Does that make sense? That makes sense. I would have totally counted that as a land if, if I did it. But if he did it, not a land. Man, now I want to try his, I want to try his whole technique. I gotta just go back to mine though. I got it back to mine. My technique is not the best technique. Contest make? <laughs> That's what we call a body. Wow. The interesting thing about watching his varial heels is I notice this with some tricks. When you get it really controlled, you don't have to like overly pop it or there's not a lot of effort involved. And that's what I notice in his varial heel. He moves his feet, the board just whips right around, perfectly underneath him, lands. In mine, I'm like doing everything I can to get that board around. This is just not one of the tricks that I'm as, you know, I can compare this with like a varial kickflip or a tray flip or just a kickflip. Such a huge difference. Well, I hope all of this explanation helped you, 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 and you to learn how to do this trick. Check out all those videos right there. Subscribe, like, leave a comment below. And you, yes, you, you have to, you have to, have to, have to learn how to ride a skateboard. It's time. Go to BrailleSkateboarding.com and get everything you need.